anyone ever tried to pair Bluetooth oh, Got it. in their car with a boomer? <laughs> this is What's the that supposed to mean? <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, beautiful morning, Topeka, Kansas. We are headed south today. 325 mile drive. Stopping to see some sights along the way. Cheyenne, how you doing today? You ready for this drive? I'm ready to lose. I mean, I'm ready to win. <laughs> We're coming back today. We're gonna get that W. <laughs> <laughs> you are a dreamer, my friend. Dreamer. We're the dream team. The car's <laughs> looking clean. Team. Ready to rip. Why do I have these boot, boot plug inserts in here? I don't think you're going to be needing those where we're going. <laughs> Is this like we pass this on to other teams? Yeah. Are we in Topeka? We're in Topeka. Okay, everybody. That's where you should eat breakfast at. Banjos. Banjos. It's That's delicious. That's the best meal we've had on the trip. It's pretty close to the track. By far. That was I like really little good. cafes in town. <laughs> stopping halfway to Wichita got a few other racers here this and the down. car had a little hiccup the car did have a little hiccup so sort of freaking out, out. With that. hopefully it's nothing car started freaking out throttle wouldn't work we came to a yeah. stop on the side of the road went and into limp mode actually limp mode restarted it and then it's been fine so yeah it kind of it stays in boost so it like wants to come off throttle and then it'll discharge the pressure but if I'm like steady throttle it'll just kind of keep building boost. like steady throttle it just kind of keeps building and then i let off and it'll... do you have a way to see the boost like can you can you see how much no i don't have a boost cage okay what about that don't you have a computer in there that uh oh well it'll do basic diagnostics we plugged it in no the other one the one that i pulled from out from underneath oh no seat. that's just like uh time zero to 60 is oh, okay like that. yeah gps but this yeah. is a basic wi-fi we plugged in so we can at least reset the code so you're saying that Okay, so Cheyenne and I ran into Finnegan at the gas station right after we had these issues. So we started talking to him. He started explaining the difference between blow off valves and wastegates. So I had him repeat it on camera for people to further understand because I didn't really understand completely how they worked either. Uh, what well, well, you're talking about the blow off valves on the intake side, but the, the oh, yeah, wastegate yeah. is on the exhaust side that controls all your, all your pressure. Right, right. So the wastegate, that's on the exhaust side. And so its job is basically, you know, let's just say you just have a spring in it, no, no other way to control the boost. Mm -hmm. The spring holds the valve shut until the exhaust pressure overcomes it and it opens it. Okay. So, the, and they're rated in pounds. So say you want 10 pounds of boost, you put a 10 pound spring in there. Mm -hmm. And in theory, it should hold it shut until, until the exhaust hit pressure hits it. And then the blow off valves on the intake side and what that's there is really to just protect the turbos. So when you're hauling butt and you mm -hmm. let off and the butterfly slams shut, it doesn't all keep, that air has got somewhere to go. Right, it doesn't, it doesn't keep building. Yeah, and it doesn't it doesn't slam into the compressor wheel. And Every day driving, I don't think it's a problem, but when you're running at 100 and something, and it's yeah. just constant throttle, probably pushed up to 30 pounds or something, and it didn't like it, so. Hopefully yep. we didn't do anything. Cheyenne wanted to stop at this Walmart so that he could try and buy baseball cards. Are you serious? Don't judge me. Oh. What are we getting? Getting some Razor scooters for the yeah, track maybe. with the boys? Yeah, let's get them. To be safe. Oh no, we have helmets at track. Duh. Hey. Hold on. Don't need to be on. buying more helmets on this trip. He's at 39. Let's check the. Let's check it. Look at that. Dude, that thing is. Oh, that's sick. the one with the big wheel. Yeah. Flip it. Oh, 220. Yeah. These Open are it up. these are 39. Open it up. I'd rather get five. <laughs> five of these and hey, three of those. Any, everybody out there, let me ask you a question. How many had the dad that would always open the item at the store to like try it out first? Well, that's what I had that, that was shine. like, so my dad. He would, well, how am I supposed to know? I have to look at it first. <laughs> he would open every box looking at all the items. We're definitely gonna get in trouble for this. Dude, rip that thing. Oh. You break it, you buy it. Oh, that thing's quick. <laughs> Cheyenne. Hey, come here. Something special here. 
cart narks. Beep, 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 beep. Sir, you can't leave your, you can't leave your cart there, sir. Boop, 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 boop. Cart narks. Thunder Valley Raceway Park, we made it. Just on time. Uh-huh, look at that beautiful freaking entryway. This is real Midwest racing right here. There's why not? All right, we made it. Right here is a long journey from Topeka today. It took Cheyenne by like six, seven hours to get down here because he wanted to stop at the casino. We went to Walmart twice. We checked into the hotel, but we're here. We're gonna time to put down some passes, all for the fun of it. See what we can do. Really cool atmosphere out here. It's a very hometown track. All grass, gravel. It's all flat. I mean, it's gonna be a great night perfect weather out it's starting to cool off right now it's about 80 something gonna get down to probably low 70s so gonna drive up to the lanes right now and make our first pass what do you got going on here james i see the flux capacitor module on the fuel pump decided it didn't want to work today so i had to take a good flux composite module out of the other fuel pump and put it in the broken one. oh yeah i wasn't recording let me do that one more time Scooter scoot! A giant rear brake that's pretty much a Brembo. Dude. That's pretty I don't even know where you came from. Lambo. Where'd you come from? Dude, other side of the I just came from anyway. Tulsa. <laughs> <laughs> so you proud of him, dude? This is his this is his first run in the yeah, in Lambo. Dude, this is awesome. And uh, he's gonna stay in it. He's gonna he's gonna set the record right now. Obviously, because he's definitely way lighter than you. <laughs> Talking about. George just made a great point. He said that, you know, given Cheyenne's girth, girth <laughs> well, about a you know, 60 pound weight reduction, there's no reason this car shouldn't go nines. <laughs> you are a big talker. We'll see. Just don't put it in the wall. I got a hundred things going through my head right now. I mean, what a rush. Crazy. I got hundred cars lined up behind me. I got two more people to run in front of me. I'm good, good, good. I had a kid. That car. That's not me. That's not me. Are you remote controlling it right now? I can't do that. And that's yeah. letting, dude, I let off way before the thousand foot mark. I know, well, we were all hoping that you would just stay in it. Well, I was trying to shoot for the 11. Though. I know. I mean, it would have been nice, so though, to see you drop like a 10-4 or something. What was, your, what was your mile per hour? 
I mean, oh yeah, 113. He dropped right, way out. So we should just start comparing our eighth mile times. Totally, I totally agree. Four seven. Well, no, no in your 60 six, foot. Six, See, six remember nine. yesterday? Uh, it was like a two something I had on my terrible run that we turned in. Dude, holy shit, that was <laughs> unbelievable. That was a lot of fun. All right, we're doing a grudge race against the Escalade, Stapleton, and Cheyenne. Oh, we're going head to head. feeling that Mitchell was gonna get him but uh Cheyenne still gave him a run for his money so great race between the two guys dude you got that nine we did it and the W good run out there good uh, got him by a full second <laughs> but four mile an hour <laughs> crazy dude how's that, that pass you're looking for though it, it really was I just left with a little bit of sauce that time where I wasn't even with any before and it did exactly what I wanted it to do and the air is still garbage I still need more boost up top to get back to where I used to be but a 15560 foot is nothing to sneeze at dang this Jump. thing's best is 148 so this was pretty good it's a good night out yeah nice work man oh thank you good right ah how was it Ha! Ah, he got you I didn't have a good launch though but I can't run a 9.9. Nine. Sick burnout though. Oh, it was good. <laughs> did, you, did you get the burnout at least? I got the burnout. I got the burnout. Golly. I mean, it's Dude. a fast truck. Does he normally run a 9.9? Nine, nine? Low 10, high 9. That was pretty, that was pretty good. <laughs> I, we can't, we can't compete. That was a lot of fun though. Better than letting off the throttle. Right? <laughs> good race. That was fun. That was fun. I always gotta look at the competition and stare at them straight in the eyes. Day three, our 11 second pass is what, 11 four. <laughs> but we still sent it on the first two, had a good race with uh, Twin Turbo Escalade. Tomorrow, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. tomorrow we're going to Great Bend. I've been there before. Yeah? You have? Yeah. Get it. Oh, buddy. Crazy encounter. That guy. He's going to make another pass, apparently. <laughs> uh, last place I was at Great Bend, I had a crazy video on 1320. Yeah? Yeah, I raised the old man. Yeah, you, you check will. it out. It was pretty good. All right, tomorrow, what do we got? 310 miles? Beep, beep. All right, 310 miles, yeah. All right, not too bad. Well, see you tomorrow.